Okay, here we go. What I like is your arm swing is good on both sides. Most guys are all wonky one side more than the other. It's coming yeah. out in front of your belly button, but that, that hand without the puck yeah. doesn't come... As far as it could. No, I kind of like it. It doesn't come too far past your belly button. Some guys, some guys you see it swing right over to the other side, but yours is coming right out in front. Okay. okay. Sometimes, too, I like to look at your stride extension here. And then your recovery, remember the pirate we talked about back in Bantam? See how high your, your foot disappears in yeah. behind your knee? Yeah. That means your stride's going out to the back a little bit because then it slips and it comes up. Okay. And then you're kind of stomping down the ice yeah. a little bit. Let's see if the other foot does it. The other, the left foot on this stride anyways, we can see it. Yeah, it's not as bad. Right one kind of disappears again. Like that's pretty... That's about eight inches off the ice, right? Yeah. Probably only needs, you want it to be about two, uh, two exactly. So while this arm is doing a bit more side to side, that leg is doing a bit more front to back, the other side, your stick arm, kind of goes front to back, mm -hmm. but you're getting nice stride extension out, oops, out to the, full stride extension and then bringing it back underneath you. Okay, so yep. we probably all have a similar issue where one side's just a little bit different than the other, but you just want to try and keep those toes after that toe push. If it's if it's out to the side enough, mm -hmm. then it's easy to keep it low, but if you slip out to the back and that heel comes up, then it disappears in behind okay. you. Okay?